So first power sent me these battery charger sets to check out. They replaced the Sony NP-FZ100 and the Sony NP-BX1. They also sent me this V-mount battery. Let me start off by saying that this video is not sponsored. No money exchange hands and I'm still broke. <laughs> the company did send me these samples to review though and I'm going to be giving them all away. Anyways, let's check out these batteries. Alright, so first a quick unboxing. Let's start with the FZ100 set. It comes with three batteries and a charger. The charger can use USB-C or micro USB. Looks like it also comes with a micro USB charging cable. Now for the NP-BX1 set. It's pretty much the same thing as the other set, just a different battery. And finally, the V-mount battery. This one has two D-tap outputs, one USB-A and a bi-directional USB-C port. I like how it has a little battery meter here on the side so you can see how much juice you still have left in the battery. Now for the price of one Sony battery, you can get three batteries and a charger. Same with the smaller BX1 battery too. We'll have to test how they perform against each other though. All right, so right off the start, I'm not receiving any third-party battery errors, which is good. I'm filming with the ZV-1 right now, but I did test it earlier with that camera and it didn't have any issues with that one either. So we're already off to a good start. Now let's test the charger. I've been using this dual battery charger from Neewer, I think that's how you say it, and I have this older Wasabi power one. Give me a quick moment while I drain these batteries. Okay, so now that I have all these batteries drained to zero, let's see how long it takes to charge the Sony batteries against the first power batteries. I've had bad experiences with third party batteries in the past, so I normally try to avoid them. When first power reached out to me, I agreed to take a look at these batteries because I like that it could charge three batteries. I'm not as biased towards the chargers. And the V-mount battery interested me because I know about them, but I've never actually used them in my workflow before. So this gave me a chance to test it out. Now what I like about the newer charger is that it gives a status on how much of the battery is charged. With the other two chargers, it's either 100% or not. This is fine though, because most of the time I charge my batteries overnight, so they're ready to go in the morning. So how do the chargers perform? On all three chargers, the first power batteries were fully charged first. The Wasabi power charger was the fastest at 3 hours, 30 minutes, and 23 seconds. And just 5 seconds slower was the first power charger. And then 12 minutes later, the Neewer finished charging. After 4 hours, my camera stopped recording and none of the Sony batteries were fully charged yet. It's kind of interesting because these first power batteries have a slightly higher capacity than the Sony's. So you'd think it would have taken them longer to charge. Now let's take a look at the V-mount battery. Like I was saying earlier, I've never actually used a V-mount battery before, so I was interested in how this could work in my workflow. I had to buy this D-tap to DC cable so that I could test out this battery. I have this GeoN G60 video light that takes DC power. Let's go ahead and plug everything up and I'm able to get full power on this light. This is great because I can get a mount for this battery so that I could attach it to the light stand and then I wouldn't have to worry about tripping over cables. I could also use this for long shoots to power my camera. Alright, so back to the camera batteries. I've been using them for a few days now and haven't had any issues with them. I did test them against my Sony batteries that are about 2-3 to three years old now and find that when these were fully drained, I had about 14% left still in the Sony batteries. Not a scientific test, but still pretty good for third party batteries. Alright, so now for the giveaway. Make sure you subscribe and leave a comment down below on which one of these you're interested in. In about 2 weeks, I'll have my girlfriend pick out a winner for each of these, so 3 separate winners, and I'll reach out to them to get everything sent out. I'll also post a win to my community tab as well. All the details that you'll need will be in the description box below. And if you have any questions about these batteries, just let me know. I guess that's it. See ya.